but I'm connected This is amazing. To. What are you going to tell your fellow black Americans out there who are thinking, hey, I'm not from Africa. I'm not going back to Ghana anytime <laughs> soon. I'm not going to back to my roots anytime soon. What are you going to tell them? Is there any words of encouragement or words yeah. to tell them to come back home or something? I will tell you, you have an obligation to everyone who fought and died, everyone who survived the Middle Passage, everyone who survived slavery from the Caribbean, from sugar cane fields in the Caribbean to the cotton fields in the American South, you have an obligation to reclaim that history that we've lost. And, and, and coming here, stepping foot on this ground, go to that place that they said you could never go back to and yeah. prove them wrong. Our ancestors yeah, yeah. will rejoice. And when I touch ground, there, there were people celebrating in the heavens that I had returned. You know what I'm saying? Think of, there, there was an auntie who prayed when some, they saw her daughter got snatched up. They prayed that someday, one day, they'll come back. There was fathers who cried, grandmothers who, who, who prayed to every God that she knew that someday her children would return to her. We are the living example of that. We have a responsibility to show up. Let those prayers not be in vain. We have to come back to this place and be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I yeah. said. <laughs> this I... is the best interview I've ever <laughs> For real, indeed. It's really the year of return. What are you waiting for? Just go get that ticket. I mean, if you don't want to come to Ghana, you can go to, what do you call it? Kenya. <laughs>